Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Liam Douglas here, and in today's video, we're taking a look at the Joby Wavo Air wireless microphone system for your camera. These will work with uh, DSLR, mirrorless, action cameras, your phone, whatever the case may be. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and roll the intro. All right, so if you're not already familiar with Joby, Joby's the company that makes the Gorillapod tripods, and I'll put a picture of one up here on the screen so you can check it out. They're a unique tripod that has beaded legs, kind of, I guess you could call them, and they're made so they can twist and lock around objects like fence posts or something like that and hold your camera at the same time. Well, now Joby has come out with this wireless microphone system and they reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in trying it out. Now, they're not a sponsor of this video, full transparency, and they have no say over what I'm gonna say in this video. They will see this review at the same time as the general public. So let's go ahead and open this kit up and see what we get inside. So we're gonna pop open the box here. We have a little, uh, foam insert there for padding and inside the box here we have the various components of this wireless microphone system so we have the receiver that goes on your camera and we have two wireless transmitters that you can use on your person or you and another person if you're doing an interview video or something like that now these do uh, charge via USB-C, which is on the side here, and they do have volume control on the opposite side. They have a mic port, uh, and I'll get, get on with that in just a moment here as far as what the mic port is for. And the primary microphones are on the top end here. Hopefully you can see it there. And let's see what else we have in the box. So we've got, and if I can get it out, we got one of these gator clips so you could clip it to your clothing we've got the hot shoe module we've got the module that allows you to attach this to the leg on a gorilla pod and we also have a magnetic module as well so that you could magnetically attach the microphone similar to a lot of the other wireless mic systems that are on the market so then we take this off and in the lower compartment um, we have one of these whoops let me get everything out here no oh, maybe it all comes out as one piece alrighty so we take the inside section out we'll set this aside here now inside the lower compartment we have a semi jack style tool that is used with the system for certain things we have some dead cats that are made to attach to the top of the wireless transmitters, of course. Then we have the instruction book down here. And we also have another one of the gator clips for attaching to your clothing and stuff like that. And on the other side, you can see we have a plethora of wires. So we got USB-C, A to C cables for charging each of the three components. They each have their own cable. And just in case you don't have any of your own or don't have enough of your own, either one. Then we have the cable that goes from the receiver into your camera. We have also here a, believe it or not, and I thought this was kind of unique, we have a necklace mount. So instead of clipping one of the transmitters to your clothing, if you want, you can optionally attach it to this and then hang this around your neck, which I think is pretty cool. It's, it's stretchy, it's elastic, and I think it would, in some ways, it would work better than constantly clipping a microphone to your shirt. The biggest thing I hate about clipping them to my shirt, if I'm not using a lavalier, is the fact that even the smallest microphone transmitters tend to tug down on your shirt, and then your shirt looks wonky, and your collar does, and all that good stuff. And then, of course, it does come with standard lavalier attachments as well. So that is everything that is in the box. They give you one heck of a complete kit i will give them that and i really like the fact that their system is so modular so on the back of each unit you have these little cups 
and that's part of the modular connect system so let me give you an example here they we, there's one on the back of the receiver so if i want to attach the receiver to the top of my xs10 which is recording this video i can put the hot shoe mount in here you put it in and then you twist and you hear a snap or click and it locks into place and look at that it's not going anywhere now so that's a pretty clever design i really do like that a lot i think that's pretty neat now another thing that's really cool and i told you i would get to it in a minute the reason why the transmitters have a mic port on them is not only so you could use the lavalier mics with them but according to the instructions you can also use the transmitter directly on the top of your camera plug directly into your camera without the receiver and you could use the transmitter as a shotgun mic so in that case you would actually take the hot shoe mount from the receiver and put it on the top of or on the bottom of the transmitter and bam now you got a shotgun mic complete with a dead cat that you can attach to the top of it here and the dead cats just snap in here if I can see exactly sometimes they with these snap on ones it's kind of hard to see where the snaps are with all that fabric there but there you go so there's the dead cat attached to it like I said you could put it like this and use it as a miniature shotgun mic directly on the top of your camera which is pretty cool I do like that functionality and like I said here and if you were using it in that case then you would go ahead and take this wire right here which is normally for attaching the receiver plugging the receiver into your camera you would use the same cable to do the same thing with the transmitter when you wanted if you wanted to use just the transmitter as a shotgun mic you would go ahead and plug it in like so and then plug the other end to the mic input on the side of your camera uh, the spring-loaded gator clip also just attaches on there twists on and locks just like that so it's pretty slick and easy and then of course you can clip it to your shirt your jacket your hat whatever the case may be and use the transmitter that way now I'm gonna try playing around here with it just because I think it's kind of cool as soon as I find it here again get the magnet piece and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on one of the transmitters and you get it lined up here Nope, nope, didn't get it. All right, come on now. It's got a little slot on the outside of it that you can turn to lock it. There we go. Okay, so I got that locked. And then, see, I can attach it to the necklace just like this and have it right down here where it's not going to go anywhere and it's not pulling on my shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this system to my XS10 and let you hear the audio for yourselves. Okay, so as you can see now, I've got the Joby system set up. I got the receiver on top of my XS10 and plugged into the side of it. And I'm wearing the one of the transmitters as a necklace around my neck with the dead cat on it. Now, one thing I did forget to mention, these do have a quick and easy power on and off button, which is this little black button right here you just press and hold and the light comes on like so and press and hold again it turns back off that ring also lights up when you're charging the unit so that you know the charging status and so on and so forth and then of course like I said it does have the volume up and down control on the side and uh, that's all the controls you really need I mean this is a really good system I'm actually very impressed with the audio quality it seems to be really good I, I tested it a few times before doing this video so that you guys could hear it and I was definitely impressed with the audio it might not be quite as high quality as like the DJI wireless 2 or the Rode wireless professional series but it's pretty darn close and for the price point compared to those systems it's also a heck of a lot cheaper so of course I'll have a link down in the description so you can check this out for yourself decide if you want to get this system for your needs um, because like I said you're not really going to go wrong I absolutely love this magnetic necklace thing for hanging the microphone right around my neck and then I don't have to worry about the weight of it tugging on my shirt and pulling the collar all out of whack and all that stuff which is definitely a plus I absolutely love that um, now I'm gonna also go ahead real quick and let you hear it with the lavalier mic plugged in so let me get that plugged in real quick for you here there we go 
and I'm just going to hold it here. So now you're listening to my audio using the lavalier mic, which of course is a much easier, lightweight way to clip a microphone to your shirt and not have it pull your collar all out of whack and janky looking and all that stuff. And of course, the cords are long enough that you could easily uh, run the cord. You know, once you take the bread tie off it, you could run it down the inside of your shirt and you could put the actual transmitter. You could put one of the clips on it, and like clip it to your belt or clip it to your belt loop or your pocket on your pants or something like that, your waistband, whatever the case may be. And then you've got it all hidden. And the only thing that would be shown would be the little gator clip portion of the mic right here on your shirt, which is pretty nice. And I think it's a really cool setup. So that is the Joby Wavo Air wireless microphone system. Um, as I said uh, before, this video is not sponsored by Joby. They just reached out and asked me if I'd be interested in trying it out and doing a review for it on my channel. And I was more than happy to help them out uh, with giving it a fair shake. Now, you guys know that I, I try to be as honest as possible and if I don't think a system's very good or a device or a piece of technology is not very good, I work in IT as my full-time job aside from doing photography and I take my responsibility to you, my viewing public, very seriously. And this is honestly a darn good system. I don't really have any complaints about it. I love its modularity. I think Joby is actually thinking more outside the box than DJI or Rode with the flexibility of their modular connect system for their transmitters and receiver. I think that is definitely some serious out of the box thinking and I really like it. I love the necklace part. I love that the clips for clipping it to your belt or whatever are detachable. I love that you can clip it to your Joby Gorilla Pod if you have one of those tripods. It's got the connector here for attaching it right to the leg of the tripod. And so you're pretty much off to the races. You got absolutely everything you need in this kit and for considerably cheaper than either DJI or Rode system. And I'm not bashing those companies. They make phenomenal wireless microphone systems, uh, especially Rode. I mean, that's what they do for a living is audio equipment. But this is definitely a good enough system to give them a run for their money with good audio quality and at a much lower price point because those other systems run three, four, five, six hundred dollars and this system, um, I don't remember the price off the top of my head but like I said, the link will be in the description down below and you can check it out for yourself but I can tell you it's considerably cheaper than those other two uh, mainstream options that you see a lot of YouTubers talking about and using in their videos. All right, so that is going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch it. Please remember to turn on or subscribe and turn on all notifications. And if you really like this, go ahead and get one. Try it out yourself. I'd love to hear your comments down below. I always look forward to your feedback. Whether you like it, you don't like it, you think your system's better, let me know. Absolutely. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a frank and honest dialogue about different bits and pieces of technology as it relates to our photography and videography. All right, that is it for this one. I will see you in the next video.